What is up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, people of all shapes and sizes? We are back with the painting videos. I know you all have been asking for painting videos, but you know, we weren't gonna come at you guys with another lame painting video. No, 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 we're painting it something never before seen in scooters. We are gonna be using black. What? Black. No, I'm oh. just kidding. Today we're gonna be using this rainbow liquid. I don't like rainbows. Well, this is color shift paint. We're gonna be having our fork be changing colors. It's gonna be one second, it's gonna be purple. Another second, it's gonna be black. Another second, it's gonna be yellow. So today, we're gonna show you guys how to do this. The first step that you guys wanna do is go on to www.amazon.com and go buy this paint. After you've purchased this paint, you want to Ship it to your house. And once it's at your house and the mailman has delivered it. Thanks, Amazon man. The next thing that you wanna do is put it in the refrigerator. We didn't end up putting it in the refrigerator, but after uh, further investigation with this paint, it's actually supposed to be in the refrigerator. We've only had this paint for about a day or two, so I don't think it'll make much of a difference, but just the instructions say to put it in the refrigerator. The next step that you'll need is some paint brushes. We have these handy dandy paint brushes I bought from the dollar store. The next step is to paint your surface black if it is not already black. Today we're gonna be using, I'll be using this Root Industry Air because it's light, fork and clamp. We're gonna have to paint it black first because it is currently not black and the paint does not work if it's not black. So it's gonna, look, it's gonna look sick though. It might just look the same as this. I, I don't know what it's gonna look like, okay? But this right here isn't just your normal black paint. This is very, 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 very matte black paint. Like this is the mattest of the blackest paint you can get. So this is why it comes with this paint. This is not just any normal black paint. Like this is special black paint that's meant to have this reflective colorful thing stick onto it. So just use this black paint and a little bit goes a long way. So you might be able to get quite a bit out of just this little bottle. The next thing you'll need is a plastic plate. And the reason, yummy. And the reason you'll need a plastic plate is because you'll need to put your paint into sections. I mean, I guess you could use any type of plate, but just preferably one you can throw away in case that it actually messes it up. So I get to go first, I'm excited. Also kind of nervous a little bit, but whatever. Like in our other painting videos, can raw this if you want to have the best final finish. We have videos on our YouTube channel of how to do that and it'll be up in the cards above. Over here, I don't know, somewhere. You only need a little bit. You only need a, just a tiny bit because a little bit goes a long way. For now, I'm just gonna use that much. So for this specific paintbrush, the bristles are kind of thick, so it's leaving lines in the paint. So what I'm gonna do is use something that is a little bit smoother to give it that nice, smooth finish. I recommend using fine bristles to get the best outcome. And you don't want it to be too globby. You want it to be nice and nice and smooth. Now you just want to get those fine details of the fork. Oh wow, that's going on actually really good. I'm like getting hyped over paint. I never thought I would I never thought I'd get hyped over paint, but today's the day. Oh. Hey. And now I'm just chilling. Chilling like a villain. And now I'm gonna work on my clamp. So boom. It has been it has begun. Oh, that's actually, that's actually real nice. The duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey! Bum, bum, bum. Got any grapes? The man said, no, we just sell lemonade, lemonade. But it's cold, cold and it's fresh, fresh and it's all homemade. homemade. Can I get you a glass? The duck said, I'll pass. No, it's not. The video sucks. Does it suck as much as this new sunscreen? No. Wait, f don't do that. <laughs> Clayton is about halfway through his fork and clamp, probably a little bit more than halfway through. But um, I want to start painting my stuff. Right here, before you say, well, I don't know what this fork is, right here is a prototype tilt rigid fork. 
This fork is designed to hold 30 millimeter wide wheels by 120 millimeter wide wheels or tall wheels. So this is a brand new tilt fork, never before seen. It's the same as like a Tomahawk fork at the top. You just screw a bolt into it. And yeah, this is a really beautiful fork. And I thought, why not use it for a painting video? I also got the new Rigid SCS, which is a new SCS by Tilt, another prototype part. And this is, this SCS is a little bit taller. And what it's designed to do is it's designed to be your headset cap, as well as taking the space between the headset cap and the SCS to make your SCS a little bit taller. So that way you can have more space in between all four bolts so it has better tension when you tighten it and you have more grip on your bars when it's in there. So you less chance of snapping your bars off. These are really, really good if you wanna run titanium bars or aluminum bars or something where it requires a lot of bar grabbage. So this is a new brand new tilt product that I'm also gonna paint. So let's do this. As Clayton showed you, we got the nice super black paint. I'm gonna make my own little puddle. The reason we showed Clayton's fork before showing mine was because it's a lot easier to see the paint on his fork than it will be from mine, but uh, let's see how it looks. Ooh. Hello, Shakespeare's. Bag secured. All right, Clayton, shake that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the rainbow liquid. It is this nice little bit of yellow, white color. Um, apparently, this is supposed to be the entire rainbow, so we're gonna find out. The first thing that we're gonna do is shake it up very thoroughly. It is shaken up, so I'm gonna pour it onto here and apply it to the matte black. Apparently, this is alive. Like this, this is like yogurt, it's alive. The alive paint is now gonna drip out. It says that you need to mix it up, make sure all the crystals are nice and good. It's time to apply. Get your brush nice and wet and apply. Whoa, whoa. It's like going from, it went from purple to light blue to dark blue, just since I poured it out. So right now I'm just getting started on the SCS. What is up, boys and girls? So, we have let the paint dry, the magical paint dry. I forgot to mention this in the previous step, but you should put the painted products into the fridge if you really wanna see the color changing because the way it changes color is through temperature. So we're gonna, we put it in the freezer for a little bit, just like 10 minutes or so. We're taking it out now, and as you can see, it's like completely black. It looks like if it's black, it's cold. So I've been holding my hand on this for probably a couple minutes, and it turns like this bronze color. It's like a bronze clamp now. Oh, and now it's, now it's turning green. <laughs> now it's turning green. All right, I'm gonna hold it again. So like, this is the same color as this. They're just different temperatures. So we ended up not having enough total paint to completely cover every little bit of this. As you can see, it's kind of like gappy, but I think it looks kind of cool like this. Like I'm actually stoked on how this looks. If you just want to do one fork and one clamp, I'd recommend using the amount of paint that we used because between all of Clay between Clayton's parts and my parts, I'm sure you could easily get enough of that crazy paint to, to make it fully coated on just one fork and clamp. But if you're planning to do it with your friends and you have multiple people that want to paint this or you're trying to do a deck, I'd recommend getting either like two or three just to be safe. They're kind of expensive. It's like 40 bucks for the paint for just that little tiny little thing. But um, this it's kind of worth it because I look at it from this angle right here, it's purple. I look at it from this angle, it's green. I can see in the camera. Can you see the purple? Yeah, you can see it. It's like purple. Now it's like, yeah. That, that is cool. And that is insane. All right, we're gonna see how this fork is now. I'm gonna hold this fork. You can see that it's black, 100% black. Now I'm gonna hold it. So I'm holding it right now, and I'm gonna re remove my hand. The last time I saw it, it was just black, um, but I can see that there's a little bit of bronze coming through here. Take my hand off. Oh, and it's like a green bronze color. That's, that looks so cool. That looks crazy looking. 
Ooh, now the whole fork is just changing. But you can literally see it changing. What color is it right now for you? Green. It's green, green and like bronze a little bit. Ooh, so here is the final product. Here's the final outcome of everything. It actually looks really, really cool. It's like green and blue and purple, and then Will's is just green. So, I don't know. Leave it out in the sun. I wonder what it's like when it's like 100. Yeah. This is like, I think, one of my favorites that we've done out of all our painting videos. It looks like rust almost. Yeah. That's why I think it looks sick. It's like colorful rust. It's colorful rust. And everything matches too. Like my headset, my clamp, my my wheels, everything. My signature Clayton Lindley wheels. And now they look blue right now. Yeah. Like right now, the fork looks blue. And see, from my perspective, it's green. That's crazy. It's green on like the sides. It's like the same color as the, the graphic on your wheel. Wow. It worked out. Wow. Good idea, Will. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got inspired by this. That's kind of the point of these painting videos, just to give you an idea of something to do in your spare time. If it's raining outside and you're like, what can I do? Paint your scooter, why not? Or you can really paint anything. If you want to paint your skateboard, your fingerboard, just, just don't eat the paint, okay? It's not a tide challenge or color changing lipstick. None of that. I hope, I hope you guys aren't trying to do that because if you want to help support the brand, undialed.co. If you fingerboard, undialed FB on Instagram, at undialed on Instagram for all the best quality scooter content, and undialed fails for the best fails you've ever seen. So, hope you enjoy. Peace out.